should I say happy 420? Sound the sirens, display the lights, let's start the show. Yes, a lot of people were on red alert when it was announced by the government that a lot of our so-called dignitaries will not have the privilege of showing off their flashy red lights on their vehicles anymore. In other words, they will not be allowed to display their beacons. The beacon that made everyone feel important. The sign of class. The cherry on top of the vanilla cake with that chocolate inside will burn no more. Not everyone likes cherries, I imagine. The ones that can't afford to have cherries. Here are some of the responses of the nation that we saw. I, as a common citizen traveling by road, I really welcome this move. Today, when all these TVVIPs will travel uh, without their red beacons, they will really understand what a traffic jam is. Hey, 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 listen, lady. The last thing that I want in a traffic jam is more company. I think there is enough empathy for traffic in this country already. The Minister for Irrigation and Power in Punjab said, Oh, Paji, we worked very hard for it for many years. And now you said remove it? What about the security issues? Jaan chali jai makar bati na jai. Another Punjab MLA stated that he will continue to use it because those who voted for him want to see him in a car with a red beacon. Look at him. He looks so cute with the thing on top. Um, um, my say is that this is a you know, very important decision taken by Modi government. Whoa! I think there is some undue importance given there, buddy. How about calling this an important decision by the Indian government? Means the same thing, but I guess we could use a collective noun. But in all importance, leave it to the Modi government to take due credit for this. When a Supreme Court decision was taken in 2013 to reduce the number of beacons, it took them three and a half years to switch off the lights. I guess the car batteries died out, didn't it? It's not you, it's me. And now the AAP government is screaming because they say it was AAPKA idea. Me, uh, ah! Well, they might have started it, but it is only this government that can make headlines out of these unimportant issues. Leave it to Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who turned out a negative statement to a positive one. In a bright move, he tweeted this. Every Indian is special. Every Indian is a VIP. What? This whole idea is supposed to make the very important people get off their high horse and feel more common. In no way does it make everyone feel more important. I'm sure the lack of red light on a car makes the person who does not own a car feel very special. Taking away a red beacon does destroy classism to an extent. It brings down the VIP culture that exists in the country. But come on, it doesn't make everyone a VIP. Because of the existence of unrestricted use of beacons, there were more than five and a half lakh VIPs. And now remove the beacon and you have 1.3 billion VIPs. I guess VIPs are a little, little common these days. Sorry, I think I'm overstating my point. But this move was needed. It definitely was. There were 5,72,000 VIPs in the country who were given the go-ahead because each state had the power to grant the use of these red lights. There is an ongoing use, or should I say, abuse of power that this beacon gives. It's the kryptonite of the common person. Many ministers and parliamentarians have an air of importance, if the Ramindra Gaikwad slapping an airline staffer serves as an example. Or how about the times when an ambulance is seen waiting when the convoy has to pass? But it's only the red beacons now that have been stopped and not convoys. So I guess some people are still important. If all of us are VIPs now, what are they? It's difficult for us to understand when this wave or trend hits media reports with conflicting information. While one report states that no one will be spared, other reports state that there are some exceptions. <laughs> and you ask me if I trust the media in this country. And I do. I really do. But which one? But one thing is for sure that there will be a lot less non-VIP people on the streets. So what do you do when the red beacon which possesses the power of pseudo-importance is taken away from you? Well, you could hire an ambulance, but that will be too expensive. Or you could uh, hire a general personal siren. 
Wow, 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 wow. Or you could hide a customized personal siren. Hey, Jaga, hey, 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 Jaga, hey, Mr. Burton, Jaga, hey, hey, Jaga, hey, Jaga, hey. At the end of the day, this is a good move and it does restrict abuse of this level of importance to VIP culture that we give. That being said, the whole point is, there is a need for the beacon and I don't care how many times you say it to me otherwise, there will always be people who are important. There is a need for that beacon to recognize the importance of security and timeliness that is required for a president or a prime minister or a chief minister or a governor or X or Y or Z. While we welcome this move, let's not kid ourselves with wrong notions of all-inclusiveness. Everyone can't be special. That's an oxymoron. Trust me, I know. I'm a very important person. <laughs>